Yet again, double standard when it comes to Jewish blood. <laughs> Ori Ansbacher was brutally raped and murdered last Thursday by a brainwashed Palestinian Arab terrorist. He too dreamt of becoming a glorified martyr in the Palestinian society. Ori's murder joins an additional 39 terror attacks against Jewish civilians this week alone, making it 259 attacks from the beginning of 2019. So, how does the world respond to the murder of a Jewish teenage? Many around the world offered true condolences. Thank you. But others didn't. Not even one Palestinian leader, reporter, human rights activist or intellectual condemned the horrendous violation done to Ori's body. On the contrary, murderers of Jews are highly respected in the Palestinian society, celebrated by naming schools and streets after them and providing hefty financial compensation to their families for years to come. How about Israeli Arab Knesset members? Nothing. Not even one public statement. Not against this murder or any others from the past. Let's check out the J Street organization. We are horrified by the brutal murder of 19-year-old Ori Ansbacher. Wait, murder by who? Why? No mention of the word Palestinian, incitement, terror? You think they would be consistent when it comes to Jews in Judea and Samaria, right? February 4th, 10 days ago, they published a post as attacks by settlers have increased 50% over last year. A week before that, another post. One witness recalls 10 to 15 settlers firing their guns. The double standard is clear. Let's check out another Jewish human rights organization, Jewish Voice for Peace. Apartheid Israel, Boycott Israel, Free Palestine, mm, Human Rights. Not one word of a 19-year-old that was butchered because she was Jewish. Despite the double standard and Arab thirst for Jewish blood, we promise to take Ori's memory with us as we deepen our commitment and presence because the land of Israel belongs to the people of Israel whose rights will not be silenced.